Okay, welcome everyone to a very special uh, video that I kind of had in the works that I wanted to do. Um, this is going to be a playthrough of the tutorial of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. And you might be wondering, why in God's name would you want to do the tutorial? Well, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, the tutorial for this game is pretty much dog shit. It hasn't been changed since like point four, um, which is really fun. Uh, when I first played the game, I almost quit because the tutorial shoved me out. Uh, it was just so boring and long. I didn't learn pretty much anything, and I pretty much forgot like literally 100% of the things I learned in the tutorial. I learned how to move, tab, that's it. I don't think I even remember how to tab. Like I didn't even realize that tab was a good thing. So today I'm going to try to go through the uh, go through this whole thing, and I'm going to check out if I want to see if it's really how bad, as bad as I remember it, and hopefully I'll be able to point out some areas where, like, new players will forget what's important what's not. You know, just going to go through the tutorial, see what happens. So, um, welcome to my you of a choice of lessons, so let's start with lesson one, movement and exploration. Alright, so in this lesson you're going to have to move around. Don't, okay, so you can move around by clicking your mouse over the arrow keys, reread all the messages, control P, also space or left click with mouse to clear the more prompts. That seems like a lot of like information. Um start. I mean that's fine. So let's start. This screen shows the skills, blah blah blah. The number next to the skill is your current level, the higher the better, the brown percent. So immediately we already noticed that this thing is out of date because um it starts us off in the blue, right? Like, which makes... Okay, it's better now. That was weird. Um, okay, I actually just skipped the thing. Um, that was funny. But, uh, yeah, back then it was like, it's brown, but then the number next in the train was blue. So it's like, that's already out of date. So this is what I mean by, like, no one really gives a shit about the tutorial. Uh, so it's kind of cool. I want to see if, like, anything's being kind of messed up. So the training percentage shows the relative amount. It's automatically set depending on which skills you have used recently. Disabling a skill sets the training to zero. So, like I said, it puts the game in auto training, but because of my init file settings, it's already on... Uh... Okay, that's really weird. Why can't I... What? I can't, like, focus my skills. Okay. I mean, I suppose, right? Uh, this screen shows the skill set of your character. Press the letter to read its description, or press that again to return to this. Okay, shows how much experience. A gray skill will not be trained, and ease the training of others. Okay, I don't even know what. Okay, so I'm pressing like a whole bunch of buttons. So at this point, I pressed, I pressed like forward slash, and I got what? I'm so like. At this point, I'm like completely confused. I have no idea how I got out of that screen. Like, I know obviously you can press the escape button, but like, what? Like, at that point, like, I'm already confused because it's not clear that I need to press escape or another button to leave that area. Uh, and I don't know if I missed any information, but that was, that was, okay, that was odd. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to move around and explore a level. You can move by clicking somewhere else your mouse. Oh, so this is the first message. Okay. Um, Found a staircase leading out to the dungeon, so you can start moving now. So I'm going to move with the arrow keys, or I can click, or I can press... Oh wait, space doesn't do anything. So there's a blue tile here, I'm going to step on it. You're doing great, now explore each level until you reach the bl next blue square. So we haven't learned how to use diagonal stuff yet. So I'm just going to use, uh, you know, orthogonal stuff. You can move diagonally. Okay, so here we know how to move diagonally. Uh, with the numpad, vi V keys, or mouse. So the V keys is what I use. Uh, I use YUBN and the arrow keys um, for my movement. So I'm going to go ahead and just move across. A quick way to run through a corridor is to press shift along the numpad or V keys. So that's pretty good. Um, so that doesn't really tell us much about the actual mechanic of running with shift. So it doesn't tell us like it'll stop when it turns a corner, it'll stop when like it sees an item or whatever. It's basically like auto explore, but kind of manual. It doesn't stop when it sees an enemy, so on and so forth. So that's kind of interesting. Um, there's a staircase leading down here. So when standing on the staircase leading downwards, you can enter the next level with that, or left click on your character. So that's 
mint. Okay, good. A new level to begin with, head over to that door to the right. Also remember you can reread your old messages with control P. So control P gives us all this information. That's pretty good. Alright. You can open a closed door by walking into it. So how do you close a closed door? How do you close an open door? Is it gonna tell us? To press a closed door, open door, press C. Alright, cool. That's mint. Because interestingly, this has been updated because before you could actually control click into it. So that's oh, right, you can control left click? No, sorry, control control direction key. So there doesn't seem to be any interestingly enough, there doesn't seem to be any mouse control for closing. Uh what are all these? Like I literally have no idea what any of these are. Is there a closed door button? Like I really I really hate the mouse controls in this game. They're so bad. Anyway. Um, note how you move through shallow water, but not deep water. All right, so you, so you wouldn't know what deep water is, but I guess you would check. You would assume that it's the blue stuff. That's good. Okay. So, what, when standing on a staircase that leads upwards, you can enter the previous level with that, or by clicking on your character. It doesn't tell us what the, uh, what the upstairs, uh, that little like asterisk means. And I remember vaguely that like it took me a couple of months to realize that that meant I didn't know what the staircase was. All right, cool. What's this? To find out where you are. Whoa, these are really old tiles. Oh, these. This looks really old. What the hell? Okay. Um, let's go control P. What's this? To find out where you are. Look at the mini map on the right of the screen. You can have a closer look at the part of the map with the right mouse click and also travel there with the left click. What? You want me to use the mouse? What? No. I'm not using that. Gross. Uh, explore manually. You can get tedious. There we go. You might want to let that happen automatically, pressing O or clicking on Auto Explore, the first button in the command bar below the new map. All right. So normally that would walk us through. I have auto. Uh, I have instant uh, movement. Some dangerous grounds mark with exclusions. Auto travel will not lead you to in to exclusions. Instead, you will automatically stop. Okay. So it teaches us a little bit about auto exclusion and auto explore. However, Auto Explore will move you safely around Auto Exclusions so you can automatically blah. Alright, cool. Found an exit to the tutorial. Oh. Yeah, Auto Explore will, f will stop when you first see items or dungeon features like these stairs. Travel directly to stairs, click on a blah blah blah. Or you can press X, then this, to enter. Interestingly enough, they don't go G enter, but I guess that's because you can't do that to the tutorial. Um, Alright, so we got the first lesson done. Yeah, leave that. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. That was like a a summary that I instantly skipped because I always skip that uh, last thing. This lesson will teach you about monsters and fighting. First, we need a weapon. Go and grab one lying over there. You can read all the blah blah. Okay. Yeah. Why does it show us this again? Oh, it's because I have skilling on. Right. Lol. Maybe that might be it. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Maybe I should not have in it filed. Pick up a weapon by wielding on this and click on it. What? Pick it up with. Yeah, I don't really like how it it pushes the um. It pushes the the mouse control so much. I prefer it if they would go for the keys. Also, I don't really like how they don't um tell you how to use question mark question mark to show you all the uh all the commands like this. Like they should be probably putting a little bit more emphasis on this because this gives you a little bit more of a uh, of an understanding of like how this works. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a training dummy. To attack a monster with your bare hands or wooden weapon, simply walk into it. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So you got a whip here. You can use the whip. Very good. You can heal by resting with five or clicking the rest button. Okay, this will make you rest until your health is full, but it will be interrupted by important events like what? So a rat's nearby, so it has to be, it won't let us uh, do this. Alright, while standing on corpses, you can chop them into edible meat chunks with C. When you're hungry, you can eat the resulting chunks. If you grow hungry while auto exploring, you'll automatically eat a chunk if one is available. Oh, so they actually added auto explore, uh, auto eat um, as a default now. That's pretty cool. Rather than storm the room and get swarmed by monsters, you can also step back and wait for them to come with you. To you. Okay, so I think here they they should have probably like talked a bit more about um what do you call it uh uh corridor mechanics because like that that doesn't seem like I don't know I I wouldn't have picked it up in my first playthrough I think don't forget about chopping corpses yeah I did that thanks man 
examine the monsters to find out which one of these cages are safe to fight. So, wait, wait, wait. Uh, examine these monsters via mouse over and compare the descriptions. With yeah, that makes no fucking sense. Like, you should really do... What? Mouse? No, come on, guys. No, 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 no. Do the... Yeah, okay, use the XV, man. XV's way better. Come on. Come on, bro. How are you gonna do that to me? I feel like, yeah, I feel like that would have been a lot better to use XV. Mouse is, like, kind of gross. Oh, one of your X skills just reached master, and these skills automatically blah, blah, blah. Default experience goes to the skills you actively use to manage your to view or manage skills, click on the skill tab in the bottom right. See, I don't know what all this clicking is. Should press M. It's a good skill. Well done reaching your EXP level. You get more health and magic points and occasionally increase to your attributes. Well you could just say it's every three levels. Why are we training unarmed combat? Okay. Also, what's up with this training? Why can't I like focus this thing? That's really weird. Okay, whatever. Remember you can rest up with five. Okay. So, this one just tells us about going downstairs, we know about this already. Range combat, you can click grab this and tomahawks. Interesting that those used to be darts when I was playing. You can fire your tomahawk at a monster by pressing F or clicking on them in the inventory panel. To confirm the auto-targeted monster, press F again or enter. Cool. Was, was it throwing rocks at me? Oh. Hey look, it's Orcish Mine. Man, this game looks like super old for some reason. Is it just because like the tutorial or is it because like... This is just what the tiles look like. I guess because I'm playing so slowly, I don't really notice. Remember, you can rest with five. Okay, thank you. Remember that you can auto-explore using... Oh, no, I refuse. Ooh, pick up the short blow and wield it with this. Grab the arrows. So it doesn't actually tell us that the arrows need to be fired, but that's fine. I mean, that makes sense. Firing arrows with your thing, blah, 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 works exactly the same. You can press the target by pressing plus. Interesting that it doesn't um it doesn't talk about just pressing equals. Like what? You just press equals, it's the same thing. Like pressing plus doesn't change it. You can also press na minus, like I'm confused. Like, like look, I can, I'm pressing like plus and minus and I'm pressing pressing like like plus and equal and minus. Like I don't understand. Like that's kind of a weird way to do it, but okay. I mean like Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, this is tiles, right? I forgot about that. Remember, you can rest up with five. Why would we rest in this situation? Do we take any damage? Wait, did it tell us to kill the... Which one did it tell us to kill first? Concentrate the dummy on... Oh, which can fire at you. Right. Okay, that was weird. I was like, I killed them without taking any damage. Find the exit. Remember, you can auto explore using O. So I'm just gonna press O. Okay, that's pretty good. Does it automatically get me to the blue portals? Oh, it does. Yeah, you can chop off stuff. Okay, whatever. You can eat them. Cool. Oh, does it just like trigger every time? That's pretty cool. Oops. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. This reminds me of the uh, RuneScape tutorial. I don't know why. I think you like not like the new one. I mean, like the super old one. Congratulations, you've survived, survived your first batch of monsters to exit the tutorial. Simply go down from these stairs. That was pretty interesting. Okay, so here's the here's like a cool, um, cool like summary. I think it would be better to like instead of having any key clear the screen, screen like maybe like have like I don't know like shift Y N or something like just because it feels like it's a uh, it's a lot of information that you're just gonna like chuck and then like one button gone. And then in order to get that back, you have to redo the tutorial. So, ugh. Lesson number three. So, so far we've already taken how long? Let's see. So I'm a, I'm a, I would say that I'm a better than a tutorial player. And I've taken about 15 minutes now to do two of the lessons. Uh, that's just way too long, TBH. Like, that's, that's really long. Like, and this is like not even, this is because I like, I know stuff. I'm really skipping steps. Uh, let's ignore that, because that's not supposed to be in there. Uh, in this lesson, you're going to learn about items and how to use them. You can reread all the messages at any time with Control-P. Okay, so these boots. Pick up the boots with this. I don't know why they don't just do G. I don't know why they do um, comma. That's kind of weird. Um, wield them with Shift-W. I don't know. I feel like Shift-W and W is like a little bit iffy. I wonder if there's a way to like make it any more obvious that it's a capital W. Hmm. 
I don't know. Anyway, because I, I I'd feel like I would press W a lot, and I'd be like, huh? I can't wield it. Like, imagine if I had this. Oh, what the? Wait. You can't wield armor. Oh, yeah, like that kind of doesn't make sense. Anyway, it'd just be like I can't wield armor. What the hell? So some time. Some types of items marked with the green frame are picked automatically as you step on them. Many items are unidentified when you do it. One way to find out what they do is to use them. Try reading the scroll with R. So R, C. It's a scroll of fog. Okay, that makes sense. Because I think it'd be kind of weird to have all the other ones anyway. Here's another scroll. Auto pickup doesn't work if there's a monster around. That's pretty clever, uh, having the monster right there. You can either pick up the scroll now, or you can fight the enemy and pick it up later. So I'll pick it up, pull it back into a corner, punch him. Read it, I guess. It's a scroll of fear. Okay. Oh. I like how the auto explore just like skipped me straight over here. What the hell? That's really weird. Okay. Item need described as ruined or glowing will always be enchanted or have special properties or both. You need to wield the scimitar with W to find out what these are. Plus two scimitar of venom. So you would probably go like inventory check, or you would right click over it. You would see like all this kind of stuff. Interestingly, I don't think that it's good for us to use a scimitar of venom. Um, just because repost is like a mechanic, and it's kind of a pain in the ass to explain. I probably would have put a mace there. Just because it's like less hard to, uh, to explain. Oh, so here you go. Press I. Um, all items commands work from the item description screens. I would never remember that. So you here's the uh, checking of stuff. Once you've successfully managed to poison the monster, sometimes it's best to retreat and let the poison do the work. Don't forget to retreat to heal if necessary as well. No, we're just gonna fight him. Look at like repost does not make sense like in this situation. Like I think that that might be a little bit outdated. Like it's reposting stuff and we don't really understand what's going on. Also, it doesn't tell us how to auto fight, so I was using tab there. I probably shouldn't. Okay, well fought. If you go up to the downstairs, blah blah blah. Many can commands are too. Yeah, so here we go. So if the many commands are too confusing, you can also look them up in the panel to help. Question mark. Um, so it really should say question mark, question mark, not just question mark there, I think, because I feel like it would, um, I don't know. I think that like all the stuff on the right hand side is like completely out of sync there. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't put the out of, I wouldn't put the, um, I don't know. Like, for some reason, like, I wouldn't look at the left side. I'd look at the right side because it looks more. Ordered, but that might just be weird. Um, but yeah, I, I think putting question mark question mark there is a little bit more help. But who knows? Uh, traps have a variety of uh, unpleasant effects, such as alerting monsters or teleporting you into danger. They'll often be hidden until you discover them by stepping on them. If there's no way around, you have to trigger the trap and deal with the consequences. Okay. Really walk into that pressure plate. So there is absolutely no indication of how I'm supposed to. Okay. How do I get? You have to assume it's Y. Um, like there's no Y N thing, uh, which is really weird. I think there should be. I don't know why there isn't. But okay, it's fine. I mean, there was no actual explanation, right? Yeah. So at this point, you would be like, kind of what? Even if you went to like Control Control, would it ha would it tell you? I don't think it does. So that's that's pretty fun, I guess. Um. Potions may provide vital healing. You can quaff this potion with mouse click to discover what it does. Quaff. Question of curing you feel better. Okay, so. Okay, so I actually have no idea what the potion of curing did. Um, because I'm not at negative health. I mean, like, hmm. Are there any other potions that could, that we could realistically put there? Because a curing potion is like, kind of weird. Hmm. Probably not. Maybe a potion of magic though. Just because a potion of curing, like, I'd be curious as to what a potion of curing is, but it doesn't tell me. Alright, so I assume that I'm supposed to fight this guy. All right, okay. There are a lot of items here you can choose to pick up from a menu, type that, or click on a player doll to enter the pickup menu. To leave the menu, pick up, just click pick it all up, please. Watch that guy, heal him. Alright. Plus ball hunting slang. What an ass. Oh, Ratskin Cloak. Items with unusual names are artifacts. Artifacts can either have a number can have a number of special properties. Some items such as this cloak are known and come pre-identified. Others are random and 
have unknown properties. Try equipping this cloak in the inventory panel. So, I don't know, I feel like that could have been ever so slightly um, improved, I'd say. Like, when it comes with unknown and pre-identified, it could be, like, a preset or something. Because, like, it doesn't really tell me that those are going to be those are going to be unique that and can sorry non unique and in that they can spawn in different games, um, but I guess uh, also like having the rat skin cloak here, it's kind of odd because, um, well, it's not odd. It's just more the fact that like I think that um, putting it here is kind of weird because you don't actually have like a regular cloak to like actually like uh what do you call it compare it to like had they given us a cloak earlier instead of boots that would have been kind of cool um because obviously like i'd be able to check uh i don't know like i, I think that they should have put a cloak instead of the the boots there because then you would be able to figure out that it's better than the other one um so what were they saying so equipping this item affects your resistances check this in the character overview button and panel. Okay, so you can do this. And then this is just a whole bunch of stats I don't get, so I would instantly forget about this because what is any of this? Like, okay, I know pretty much none of this. Uh, I know what health is, I know what mana is, I don't know what ACE or shield is. Strength and dex, I assume I would know. XL, probably might not know what that is. God, don't know what that is. Spells, don't know what that is. I know what the equipment I'm wearing is. Not exactly sure what this means though. Fire, cold, neg. Like that that sounds right, but like where would you why is why are these three and why are these one? You know what I mean? Like MR, what's that? Stealth. Okay. How does stealth work? But maybe that's just because it's too much like what's harm? Reflect spirit, faith, gorm. That's kinda interesting. Like I didn't realize that they would just dump you into this area, but I guess that makes sense. Just trying to figure out how this works. Um Anyway, so this is a wand. You can evoke a wand with this in your inventory. Okay, so this one came like auto ID, so I assume they, they're never going to tell you about how this works. A null comes in a contact. Jesus, they're going to show you D1 null already. Okay, it'd be really funny if I died here. Like, so good if I died. Okay, never mind. Your armor skill increases, but... One of your skills just reach a milestone, blah, 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 default. Okay, we already learned that. Why are we training this? Yeah, train this properly. Please. We do this, we do this optimally. Come on. Alright, a wand of digging can destroy rock walls. Check the multi types. Okay. So there you go. Like, use XV. Like, why didn't you just tell us about that earlier? Why did you not do that that time? Jewelry is put on with Shift P or with mouse click in the inventory panel. Cursed amulet of inaccuracy. Oops, that amulet feels definitely cold. Cursed equipment cannot be dropped or removed. Scrolls of remove curse will remove all curses from your current equipment. So we don't know what a scroll of remove curse is, but we're going to go find it. Over. Let's see. There it is. All right, read it. So the curse on your worn, worn equipment have now been removed. You can unequip them now. So it doesn't actually tell us how to unequip them. So I guess you have to just wheel. Like... Uh, okay, let's just keep it on for consistency's sake. Okay, so the amulet is useless, so you may want to drop it with D or shift click it. Okay, so I'm surprised that they didn't tell us how to remove it with um, shift R, that's kind of weird. But anyway, too many commands are confusing. Yeah, okay, thank you. We know how to do that. Gold can be spent in shops, it takes no inventory space and cannot be dropped. Oh, that's cool. Shops offer a variety of items, but they don't buy items from anyone. Okay, to enter the shop, press this, like, go upstairs on your character to buy items, select them with the hotkey, and enter and confirm yes. You can switch to description mode with that. Okay, cool. So we can buy a potion of curing. We can buy a curse. <laughs> wow, okay. Cool, I guess. Um, so we have a potion of curing now. I wonder if they're going to give us, like, a poison enemy. Remember, you can explore the level automatically. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. You now have enough gold for some serious shopping. To, the quickest way to go back to this is to search for it. Control F. Select the results to start shopping. Use the mini map. Click on the search button. Okay, whatever. 
Okay, um, so we can buy a potion of might, paralysis, ringmail, I guess. I mean, why not, right? We're not going mage, even though this is... Oh, well, this is a high elf, so it's fine. So we got some serious tools now. Oh, yeah. I like it. So, oh, I was going to say, like, what the hell? Warning, this way leads to a difficult fight. You may choose to use what you've learned so far, or try to reach the exit. Either way, it might be going to just do some shit. How do you reach the... what? What? How do you... Do we have a... Wait, is there a person of flight over there? What? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, there's a ring of flight. Shit. Did we, did we mess up? Oh god, wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? How do we... Um... Uh, okay. What? 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 Every third level you gain uh, this slightly increases damage from evasion and stealth. Dex increases your stealth? Holy shit, didn't know that. Um, we made a mistake, boys. Oh god. Use the mechanics. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Easy game. Holy shit, that was actually ridiculous. What? Okay. Uh, please don't make me die in a tutorial. Like, come on, please. Don't kill me in a tutorial, please. Oh yeah, just kill him. Yeah, mess him up. Why does he have a battle axe? What? Who gave him that shit? Certainly wasn't me. Okay, thank God for a blast. My God, that was that was a challenge. What the hell? <laughs> how did how did you how would you expect anyone to get through that? Like, also, like, so you would die, like, a hundred percent, right? I'm assuming. Why is there an imp there? What? Wait, how are you supposed to get to that point? So it says, difficult battle, you may choose what you reach, try to reach the exit. So like, you wouldn't be able to do this unless you had, what? That's confusing, like, they don't give you enough gold to give you a ring of flight. Like, you have to literally not buy anything on both, both trips to get that, that staircase. And then you would die. What? That's so confusing. Like, that's just... I don't like the way that's done. Okay, well, that's fine. So here's the summary. Um, magic and spell casting. Okay. This is like a really... Like, that third one was kind of odd. I felt like it wasn't really... I don't know. I don't know. That was weird. Alright, magic and spell casting. In this lesson, you've learned how to memorize and cast spells. Alright, we don't need this. Let's train fighting and spell casting. Sure. Alright, so have we got any spells right now? No. Okay. Here's a book. Memorize a book by memorizing stuff. Magic dot. Yeah, sure. Demise Handbook of Introduction to Spell Cosmic. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, this will change you gain XP. So let's go ahead and train Conjurations. And I guess we'll turn fighting off. Why are we doing this properly? <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> you can cast magic by pressing Z. Pressing Z question mark to get a list. Launch around a magic points. Repeat. Regain them with five. Thing. Okay, whatever. Okay, having having the Mephitic at the magic dot at 30% fail is kind of hilarious. Okay, put this ring on with shift P, then rest it to get your full potential. This is wizardry. No, it's magical power. Okay. Unlike most monsters, zombies, and skeletons do not regenerate health, you may also re attempt to recast the last spell used by pressing control left click on the monster. What? Does that work? Oh shit, it does work. That was, okay, that's a really, really bad way of doing things, okay. Like, control left click, what? So at this point, like, this, this whole lesson is, like, almost, like, completely just not necessary, honestly. Like, if you're going to recommend melees as your first start, it's probably, probably better to just leave this in hints mode, like, there's no way you're going to remember this and range mode. Like, I don't know. The tutorial... This is why I say the tutorial is too difficult um, to understand. Check your spell proficiency. Press Shift-I if you memorize spells. Yeah, we already did that. Thank you. Pay your spell rates before and after. So this must be a, yeah, staff of wizardry. So it's 10% now compared to um, 24%. Okay. Golden Skeleton. Kill that guy real quick. Kill him real quick. 
We've hit a class level three spell. You can't memorize it left. Level well, quickly. There's more training dummies about throw stones to throw. Let's bash him with the staff then, because it's just funny. One of your skill levels, blah blah blah. Okay. Well done. Yeah, we've already done this. Cool. Oh, that levels up us up once every time. That's pretty cool. Level up int, I guess. Get my fitted cloud. Put that on C. Don't forget to memorize your newly available spell. Okay, we did that. Fit cloud covers an area with noxious fumes. When casting, you'll be able to see the area it affects as you target it. Try to catch multiple enemies in a single cloud in order to become more efficient with your match. Okay. So I like how they do that, and then they like immediately don't give us the <laughs> chance to uh, do it. Like what? That's confusing. And also, magic dot just kills all of them. So it's like, why? Uh, spell casting can make you really hungry. Spell hunger is higher for more difficult spells that can be reduced by high intelligence and training the spell casting skill. Okay. Amnesia scroll. This talks about like spell slots. You can forget to memorize. Scroll by making space for a new one. The easiest way to do this with, is with a scroll of amnesia. Simply reading the scroll and then select the scroll you want to forget. Why would I want to forget these scrolls? Though? That's confusing. Again, memorize new scrolls. Oh, here we go. Yes, yeah, so we can like raise the dead here. Yay! And then like hilariously, if you rested too long, they might like just disappear. Did you notice you can swap positions by moving in with them? Yes, I did. Thank you. Try to let your allies try to let your allies do the killing. If necessary, you can order them around with T. By opening this before opening this gate, you might want to wait with your allies and they catch up to you. Why don't they stand here? It's confusing. Alright, I'll just let them kill it. Okay, cool. Heavy armor really happy spell casting. Try putting on that mail and shield. You can pay a spell failure with it. You can take it off with T, or again via mouse click. So like Kind of funny that, um, yeah, it's kind of weird that they like force you to do that. Um, sorry, they, they tell you how to take it off armor but not remove jewelry. That was kind of weird. Make sure you're at full health and magic before entering a new thing. Okay, also under don't breathe, you can cost. Okay, whatever. Thanks. Thanks, bro. Alright, oh, whoops. I was like, what am I doing right now? I got lost and I was like, just auto casting. Oh no, there's a whole bunch of enemies. Holy shit. It's actually a lot of enemies. Alright, let's mephit cloud ourselves because we're stupid as shit. We don't know what's going on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, really messed me up. Kill him. Yeah. Alright, so that fight should probably kill you, I'd say. If you weren't really paying attention. Congratulations, you're a real wizard now. Um, am I though? I learned how to use two spells, but I guess. Oh, three spells. And we still have ringmail on, but whatever. <laughs> It's all good. Alright, last one. Gods and Divine Ability. So how long are we being at right now? So this is a 32 minute game, 33 minute tutorial so far. Like, literally 33, 32 through 33 minutes. Like, seems oddly long. Anyway, you're going to learn about gods and how to use their powers. You can reread all the powers with this. Mace. Okay, thank you. Trog. Hail. Praise. Thank you, tutorial. I remember this. I actually remember this. I remember seeing Trog and being like, this is badass. Then again, I thought I was playing the Shining one for some reason. But yeah. Um, so control O, you can check the stuff. Interestingly, okay, so there's only the dungeon 1 to 15. So apparently there's like, you can actually get down to the next levels of dungeon. I wonder how, I wonder if you could like whiz mode this. Hang on. Can you break the game? Sorry guys, let me let me just try something real quick. Alright, so how do we whiz mode? Do we enter whiz mode? Um D oh What, what where are we right now? Oh guys, oh my god, am I gonna win the game? Holy shit, what? Hello, team? Guys, where am I? What? I'm starving. Uh, food, food. What, how do I, how do I do the food? Uh, food. Give me, oh shit, what? How do I, how do I do food? Set hunger state, there we go. Engorged. No! Wait, how do I? E. Shift E. There we go, perfect. Wait, can we win the game like this? Wait. Have I broken the game? Where are we right now? Like, this is just like, whoa! What? Oh god, shit, no. No, 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 this wasn't the tutorial. 
<laughs> this wasn't in the tutorial. No. Wait, ah, fuck. No, 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 don't kill me. Don't kill me, you scumbag. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, no, 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 don't kill me. Don't, don't kill me. Stop. Holy shit. Um. Okay. Yeah, stop killing me, please. Okay. Oh, God, what the fuck is going on? Oh, God. Team. Team. What? Um. How do I nuke this place? I, I know there's a way to, like, get rid of everything. Uh. Dismissal monsters, there we go. What? Oh. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna win the game now. I'm in depth now. Hey. Oh shit, that's an Edmund. Sorry guys, I got distracted. Um, I probably should quit this, but I just kinda wanna see what the game looks like. It's no monster. Oh, and crawl crashed. Um... That wasn't part of the tutorial. Okay, let's go back to the tutorial. Let's stop fucking around, yeah? Sorry about that. Uh, got, got mildly distracted. Okay, let's start the tutorial again. Fuck. Okay, let's quit this character. <laughs> okay, here we go. Alright. I hope you guys can see this. Hope the game didn't crash. Okay, good. We can still see. Excellent. Perfect. Alright, let's get the mace up. Okay, let's go with Trog. So you can join an altar. If you press this, you can see a more detailed description. Confirm your choice with yeah, okay. Cool. So they have removed prey, that's good. Um join the faith if you think. So they didn't really explain how this works. Uh, look at this. Look at your religious standing. Again, pressing this will bring up more detailed description of your god. Okay. That's a big info dump right there. Um, didn't talk to us about abilities yet. Let's check if it does. You kill monsters monster in their name. Let the slaughter begin. Okay. So you're gonna give me piety. No. Okay. Troll will like it if you burn books. Burn that book. Sometimes you might want to wait for monsters to step on it before doing so. Burn it. Yay. Alright, cool. Against particularly tough foes, you may want to use Trog's Berserk Power with the A command by the A panel. Why the? Why is that on F? I am what? Hold. Oh. Hmm. Okay, berserk. It's cool. So we figured out berserk's OP. Berserker rage is truly exhausting. While fatigue, you cannot berserk again, or also slowed. It's best to rest with five until you feel fed again. Okay, so so not really a tactical tutorial, I guess. Doesn't tell us that we need to like. Be careful with how we berserk. You can't berserk while very hungry, so you should always carry some food with you. Yeah, of course. Great. Alright. Berserk is also really useful against multiple enemies, as long as you don't run out of steam in between. So, here we're going to go berserk. Just murder the shit out of them. So, you could actually roll really low and then just die in that tutorial. I, The thing is, I actually remember this. Um, When you die in the tutorial, it just sends you back to the friggin' end screen. So, you don't actually realize that the tutorial keeps going. I remember this now because when I first played the tutorial, I think I died in one of the tutorial, uh, in that, like, HUD. In, like, I think maybe this bit. Um, or I think it might have been the magic part. But I died and, um, it just sent me to the end of the game and then I was like, oh, so I'm done, right? And then I just stopped. It was like, that was a really weird experience. Remember, no one really has time to, congratulations, you just finished the last tutorial. What? What about? What? Okay. Uh, what? That just like threw us out completely. Okay, it didn't explain mechanics of like piety at all. That was kind of. Okay, I thought they were going to give us more. Didn't explain us piety, didn't ex explain us gifting. Though I guess it doesn't need to. Um, there's surprisingly not that much in the tutorial that's. Out of there's nothing in the tutorial that's really out of date, but I have a feeling that like there's a lot of things there that are like kind of not really well explained or really just difficult to do. So overall, I would say that if you want to play the game properly, just go in hints mode. It's probably going to help you out more. Um, this tutorial is kind of like I feel like, this is just, like how long has it been? So ignoring our little stuff up, it was 
The whole thing is almost 40 minutes, so assume that I that whiz mode like 2 minutes, that I just speed run down to like depths. So it's like almost 40 minutes anyway of us just doing a tutorial, and that's with me skipping stuff, because like accidentally skipping stuff. Like doing, like all the combat would be done like instantly, did, was done instantly in this tutorial. Like, so it's like 40 minutes, and what do we learn? Okay, let's just try to think about what I can remember from that. Not much. Not much. Also, if I'm correct, it never told us how to skill. Unless it, like, I don't know if it was supposed to tell us how to skill at the beginning of the game, because my macro was, oh, uh, sorry, not my macro, my little uh, inner file thing was done uh, on that, so I don't know at what point they actually told us how to skill. I hope they did. If they didn't, that uh, is another issue. But, uh, uh, you know, a lot of, like, I come into this tutorial kind of confused, a little bit, a little bit sad, you know, spent 40 minutes playing a tutorial. Like, that is a really, really long tutorial. Like, way too long. Too long. So yeah, overall, I think there's a lot to improve in this tutorial, but um, hopefully you guys see what the tutorial's like if you've never done it before, because um, I know a lot of people don't. Uh, maybe maybe things will be better, who knows. Maybe one day in 0.25 or something we'll be able to get an actually uh, really good tutorial. It's like super up to date and stuff, but until then, see you guys next time.